quick recap of the targeted EIDL advanced news, the PPP news and timelines if you're still waiting for your PPP loans to come through, and big news because a lot of this hasn't been covered and a lot of this is brand new, what rental assistance is now available in your state. Even if you don't think you're qualified or you don't think you need rental assistance, watch this video because I'm going to go through the $25 billion, $25 billion that is available for you. If you qualify, I will briefly go through this. Hey everyone, this is Ryder from Skip. I hope you're doing well, staying healthy. It's Thursday, January 21st. Please watch until the end. And thanks so much for subscribing. If you find this information helpful, not only the EIDL and PPP recap, but also the rental assistance that I'm about to cover, not only subscribe and like this video, but also leave a comment because that helps the YouTube algorithm and more people can see this. To me, this rental assistance is essentially grants if you qualify, and a lot of people will qualify whether they know it or not. Just like the low income provision in the EIDL grants, a lot of people were surprised. They used our low income lookup on our app and found out, hey, I actually am in a low income community. That's surprising. Same thing here. Hey, you may find that you can get a few months rent covered. I'm going to talk about exactly how to do that and look it up. Many states still don't have this information out, but many do. And this is brand new. And of course, each state has a limit. So this is another program where it's important to look at and understand. So if you do one thing, watch until the end of this video. And if you appreciate this information, like and share this video. Tomorrow, I am going to talk about grants and new grant programs at the state level. You can get all of this on our free skip app. You can go to trackeidlgrant.com to get our free app. So look up if you are in a low income community for the $10,000, look up your state here. This post is right at the top of the app and tomorrow's grant program, you'll get first access if you're on the app. Okay, let me dive in here on what states have opened up the rental assistance and what does it look like and who qualifies. The EIDL recap, in case you've been out of the loop for the last two days or you didn't watch the last two videos we did, the SBA has issued guidance, that's huge news, and they say, wait and see, wait and see. They will contact you in the coming weeks if you qualify. And by the way, I talked about why I think more people will qualify for EIDL grants. I did some math this morning based on what we know about who's applied for EIDL grants and who hasn't received any of the EIDL grant. The bottom line, number one, I think there's going to be leftover funding for you, even if you didn't apply before December 27th, to get all or part of the $10,000 EIDL grant, number one. Number two, I think Isabel Guzman will be a positive change for the SBA when she officially takes over. She has to be confirmed by the Senate. Once she takes over, I think she is going to do more to get the funds out to more people. So if you read this on Tuesday night when we broke the news and you were disappointed, don't give up hope. First, check and see if you qualify for the loan provision. Then hold on and wait. Meanwhile, you can take two actions while you are waiting. Of course, you can apply for PPP loans. We have half the people have already applied that expressed interest in applying. And then basically the other half is still waiting to apply. Some are unsure if they qualify or not. That's up on our blog as well. Go to trackppploan.com to go to a preferred lender if you still want to apply for a PPP loan. It's still early, still very early. So feel free to apply. It takes five minutes. And I'll leave the link for that in the description as well. Here is the rental assistance news because this is also can be substantial money for you. Let me read you the opening part here. Millions of Americans are currently struggling or unable to pay their rent, which could leave them in debt when the ban ends. That's the eviction moratorium ban that Biden extended yesterday. When he took office, one of his first actions was to extend the federal ban on evictions. However, the stimulus bill passed at the end of 2020 includes $25 billion in rental assistance. The funds haven't fully reached the states yet. However, in the meantime, there are programs in some states that are active and accepting applications for assistance. So we've compiled them here. Again, it's not every state. I'm not going to read every state. I just want to give you the highlights and show you some examples so you can keep this in mind. Oh yeah, I do qualify for that. And we will update this too. But if you want to see this, open up the Skip app. It's all right here. So Arizona, you can apply. Arkansas, you can apply. Colorado residents can apply if you've lost income due to the pandemic and whose income is at or below 80% of the area median income. So this is the same lookup as the targeted EIDL grants. So if you want to check that and you're in Colorado, you can also use our EIDL tracker to see if you qualify for this. Again, it's you may qualify for assistance. You can check that out very quickly and apply online as well. Connecticut has a program. Hawaii has a program. You may qualify up to $500 per month in assistance in Hawaii. 
In Idaho, if you are a low-income family, you may qualify for $309 a month. Illinois, Indiana, Missouri all have programs. Nevada has a program that if you have $3,000 or less in savings, $3,000 or something, you may qualify for rental assistance from the state. New Hampshire has a program. New York, same deal. 80% of the area median income, you may be eligible for assistance between now and February 1st. So again, it's the same calculation as the targeted EIDL grants for New York. North Dakota, similar program, but it's 60% of the area median income. Oregon, Pennsylvania, both have programs. Texas, rental assistance available for residents, but they must apply through designated community groups or local organizations, not the state directly. But we have the links to all those here as well. We have links for all of these. Utah, same deal, 80% area median income. Virginia, 80% area median income. West Virginia, same. Wyoming, similar program. And Washington, D.C., 80% area median income as well. All right, there we go, and we are updating this, so we expect updates later this week, next week, and the following week, where we will continue to add to this. What we're going to do tomorrow is we are going to add, at the state level, grants that are available for small businesses. So if you're in Arizona, you, you may want to look at this in terms of eviction prevention assistance or relief some of these programs. We will also have corresponding grant programs as well. Again, it's a lot of research to navigate all of the state level websites, especially because many of them are confusing, but we are doing our best to stay on top of it and to keep you in the know. Besides the EIDL grants, which millions of people know about in the US, besides the PPP program, you know, there is also the Shuttered Venue Operator Grant. If you are a promoter or a venue or related to that space, there are grants for you as well. Not live yet, but they may be soon. That's all on the skip blog. As always, thank you so much for supporting us and subscribing. Stay well, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow.